Fellas, I got a hunter built, and if you didn't know, I'm not a hunter main, which is why I depend on you guys when y'all drop comments on certain things to try, and this is way of a thousand reloads. It was a build idea that was actually dropped in one of my comment sections a couple weeks ago. I know some people have talked about it, and to hunter mains, this may be like common knowledge. Now essentially guys, what we're going to be doing today is rocking Way of a Thousand Cuts, which is the new Gunslinger subclass. We'll be combining it with Sealed Ahamkara Grasp. Hamkara! We're also going to be rocking Gambler's Dodge, which as you know, when you're in proximity of an enemy and you roll on the ground, it grants you your melee ability back. We tried out Fighting Lion, Warcliff Coil, pretty much any rocket launcher I had. I even had a Kill Clip rocket launcher that I was using as well. But probably the one I was most interested about was Merciless. I don't even think anyone uses Merciless. Like ever since Ikelo Shotgun came about, no one even thinks about that fusion. First up, let's talk about this exotic. It grants you the exotic perk Nightmare Fuel. Dealing melee damage reloads your currently equipped weapon. Now for the longest time, say you were using something like a rocket launcher, when you meleeed an enemy, yes it would refill that magazine, but only by one, because you can only hold one rocket. This is where the new subclass way of a thousand cuts come in you see guys it grants you the melee ability knife trick throw a fan of flaming knives that burns the target on hit. Now that burning the target on hit, each burn counts as a melee hit. Meaning you can load not one rocket, not two, but upwards of four rockets in one sitting. What makes this even nastier, as soon as you need your knife back to do even more DPS, you simply just dodge. Gamblers dodge next to an enemy, you got your knife back, boom, four more rockets. So immediately in my head, I'm like, all right, let's break the damn game. What can we do with this? Ikelo shotgun, let's give it a go. Turn Turns out Ikelos does not activate on knife throws. From what I was told, Trench Barrel used to actually activate on knife throws. Normally you want to be close to your enemy to begin with, but say you're leading up to them, you throw the knife out. In this situation, it would have been perfect to throw the knife barrage out there, land it, automatically have Trench Barrel activate it. I'd say you could get probably, maybe, 12 shots out. But I can't really justify it from an Ikelos shotgun standpoint, because if you were to rock something like Marksman Dodge, you would just simply dodge and get a full eight back. Reproc trench barrel again and away you go. So it definitely seems a lot more difficult synergizing and optimizing it with something like the Ikelo shotgun. Where it seems to thrive is something like Merciless. Now for some of us that have not used Merciless since the beginning of year one, let's do a refresh on this exotic intrinsic perk. Conserve momentum. Non-lethal hits with projectiles makes the weapon charge faster until its wielder gets a kill. Now I tried two different things here boys. I tried throwing my knife after I'd already empty my mag to instantly reload unfortunately that delay was just long enough that i did not keep that intrinsic perk active however what did work was throwing the knife at the beginning of the gunfight as you can see just like a rocket launcher it kept refilling one into the mag every single time this resulted in me getting somewhere between 11 and 12 shots out but it wasn't just 11 and 12 fusion rifle shots these are 11 to 12 fusion rifle shots that are coming out very fast due to that exotic intrinsic perk. So something like Merciless definitely synergizes really well here with this loadout. Now the thing that benefited the most, and I would say benefited the most overall, was rocket launchers. If you've got a pretty decently rolled rocket launcher, and especially if you're a solo player and you play the Hunter class, and you're just wanting to do some massive amount of DPS in a short span of time, this is a very good option for you. Now the question comes up, why use this over something like Rally? barricade or maybe Luna faction boots. I'll say it really comes down to time because between Gambler's Dodge, the Burning Edge, which is a perk there in the new subclass tree for Way of a Thousand Cuts, which states while enemies burn, your dodge ability recharges faster and playing with fire, destroying burning enemies recharges knife trick more quickly. You've got so many things here synergizing to grant you your knife back much faster than you would get your Rally Barricade or your Rift back, thus allowing you to take advantage of this short burst of DPS. So boys, I think this is a really good loadout and there's a lot of options that I haven't even run through yet. Things like Regis Claymore after activating Desperado. Weapons like Legend of Acrius. If you don't have the Catalyst already, then this is a great option to allow you to just pump out massive amounts of damage. So I definitely see a lot of benefits from this loadout. So guys, that is a way of a thousand reloads. Again, shout out to the gentleman that actually dropped this in my comment section a few weeks ago. I'm pretty much up to date as far as what to look for in Titans, but for my Hunter mains and for my Warlock mains that are making suggestions on builds, you are a godsend. Well, boys, thank you all for coming and watching, and as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.